Hello guys, um, thank you for watching my videos. Today I want to talk to you about iWatch Oxygen, like a blood reader, like they call it uh, blood measurement or oxygen reader. Uh, I do have one of the device I measure oxygen for my dad right now. So it would be great uh, to test it out. So with this device, it's pretty simple. You just attach to your finger, like put your finger in, press the button, and it costs around between 10 to 40 bucks, okay? And it's give you oxygen uh, level uh, in li life. So basically, anytime your oxygen change, it will change the number. Then um, on the iWatch, so I have 97 right now. Okay. On iWatch, it's um, very simple also. So what you need to do, you need to press on the crown, digital crown on the side, and then select the app and click start. And within 15 seconds, it will give you a result. And very important not to move the hand because every time I do, out of three times, only one time it's working. So, okay, now it's 96. And let's see what is my oxygen over here, 97. Okay, let's do another test and see if it's gonna be the same accurate, okay? So I'll run one more test. Very important not to move your hands. hundred percent okay and this test will show me and now with this one is very simple you can move it will um, basically attach it's telling me 95 okay so let's one more time I'll do both so you can see it both numbers so found this oxygen meter, I have 97 and iWatch will give me in uh, two seconds the result. Okay, 100%. So on iWatch, I get better result right now, 100%, while on this meter I get 97. And I'm not sure if it's fingers make difference. I know it's a different part of the body measure, but it's still the same. And I would assume it shouldn't make any difference where you measure your blood oxygen but again it might give you a little bit difference only in two to three points difference still very well um, accurate and uh, with this iWatch you will get a notification and you can always check on your health app on your iPhone how uh, your history also with um, this device you can use anywhere with iWatch you have to be sitting like without moving for 15 seconds make sure no noises outside much Ninety-nine percent and let's see one more time so we'll do a few tests to see how accurate 96 so there is about three to four percent uh, between i would say two to four per, uh, percent uh, difference accuracy it's still not bad for watch thank you guys for watching please subscribe and like the video and stay tuned for more videos thank you